Great lighting is not the result of owning lots of lights. Great light comes from learning to see light. So in this episode, I want to show you how you can create some awesome light for portraits and headshots using just one flash. Stay tuned. Hey gang, every day I receive messages asking about lighting. So this is the first episode in a series of videos that I'll do over the next few months to break down some simple lighting arrangements and hopefully teach you what you really need to pay attention to when you're setting up lighting for a portrait or a headshot. So we'll begin with one light and some simple modifiers. I'm going to use a studio monolight for this demonstration and to prove my point, the light is a $99 Adorama Flashpoint strobe. You don't have to use the most expensive equipment available and of course, you could also use a speed light just as effectively. If you are a speed light shooter, be patient. I have some cool stuff planned for speed light tutorials in the next few weeks. Now for my first setup, I have my subject seated on a short posing stool just two feet from a white seamless background. And my strobe is about eight feet from the background, pointed straight up at a seven and a half foot high white ceiling. Now with this strobe set at half power, I'm shooting at f6.3 with an ISO of 200. Now if I tilt the strobe forward just a little bit, I can shoot at f8 and you'll notice that I get even more fill under the jaw because the light is able to bounce off the card. On a black background, I get this with a light tilted forward, still shooting at f8. Remember that light travels in a straight line, so how you aim your strobes is very important. Tilting the light slightly forward will allow the light to travel further with great intensity. But be careful, if you tilt it too far forward, you'll actually be throwing direct flash at your subject because you're exposing the flash tube or showing too much of the silver reflector like you see here. Now if we take this setup and move the subject so that she's 5 feet from the background and the light is 11 feet from the background, with the light aimed straight up, I get this result. And with it tilted forward, we get this on white. And here it is on black. Now before some of you start commenting that there should be more separation of the hair from the background, I don't disagree. But let's remember that this video is about setting up lighting with a one light setup. Not everybody has the money to buy a ton of lighting gear. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you a cool trick to get more light on the hair while still just using one light. Now let's go ahead and add one modifier to the mix. The one you see here is a Photoflex 24 inch by 32 inch light dome. You can get similar results from a cheaper softbox or even a shoot through umbrella like this one. The key is the size. You want a broad light source. I've posted links to all of this gear in the comments section below. Now if we start out with the white background and place the subject just two feet off the background, with a softbox on camera right, we get this dramatic look. If we add the Walmart reflector on camera left, we get this. Now pay close attention to the height of the softbox. In this shot, the softbox is high and if we bring it down so there's a little more light coming from below my subject's face, we get more fill light under the chin. We can also create a clamshell lighting arrangement using our one light and a reflector below the subject for the other half of the clamshell. Here you see it on white with the subject two feet from the background. Here it is on black. You can see that the black backdrop turns to a dark shade of gray. Now if we move the subject forward to seven feet from the backdrop, the same setup will look like this. Okay, I told you that I would show you a way to get separation of the dark hair and the dark background with just one light. Here it is. I simply added two more reflectors slightly behind my subject and angle them towards the side of her head. If you want even more separation, you could use silver reflectors or even just cover the Walmart reflectors with aluminum foil. And if we switch from a soft box to a beauty dish on our speed light or mono light, add in a really good makeup artist, you could do a beauty shot like this. Or create something like this. Or this. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that light travels in a straight line. I want to show you a quick example so that you understand how really important that statement is. You can see here that the softbox is aimed a little high on the model and the white reflector is angled towards her face. Watch closely under her chin as I angle the softbox down towards the reflector and then level the reflector so that the light can travel in a straight line to bounce off the reflector and hit the subject's neck and face. 
When everything is lined up properly, you get a much nicer and even light on your subject. So the moral is practice. And then practice some more. Experiment. Build your visual database and remember that your best shot is your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you've got a question that you'd like answered, post it in the comment section below. Your question could be my next video.